In this Kubernetes and CKAD tips number 15, we will talk about pods. And this time we'll see how we can run more than one containers in a pod. So far, we have run only one container in one pod, but this time we will add one more pod to the pod definition and run that. To do that, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go and create a pod using the command, the CLI, and then take the output, put it in a file, and then modify that file to finally deploy it um, with two containers. So let's see the step-by-step -step options. So to begin with, what I'm gonna do is that, let me increase the size on the phone. Let me say, let me start my Minikube cluster. Restart that. Now my Minikube is started, right? So this is the local thing. So let me use the alias, which is also very convenient to work against cube cuddle command. So I'll say k get nodes, just to make sure that my context is connecting to the Minikube which is fine. Now, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a container called multi, okay? And then I will use the image busy box. Okay, and I might run something like sleep 3600 seconds, that's the whole day. But this time I'm not gonna create it um, actually. So I'm gonna use something like dash dash dry run, which is a very helpful command to get the basic YAML file to modify and then to run it uh, when you are done with all those small additions you might need. So I'll say client, and then I say, oh, YAML, that's the output of the YAML. And let's have the everything is pod.yaml file. That'll be saved locally. So if I say ls, You'll see pod.yaml is showing up here. And I say vm vim pod.yaml opens in the VI editor. Now you can see that over here, I have got a section called containers. And inside that containers, I have got args, image, etc. Now what I can do, I can add one more container. And then if I do have to do add one more container, I start from that same thing, right? And then I say name. I give this container name as web and I use the image as nginx. Okay. Now you have two container. Container one runs busybox. Container two runs the nginx. Right. And the name of the pod is multi uh, pod. And what you can also do, you can remove these lines which are not so important. status okay so you can just go ahead and then see the creation time also you can delete you and you can put it in your ci cd pipeline to run it again and again so i've got two containers now i have not created this yet i just ran it to produce the yaml file so if i say get pods you will not see a busy box been created so it is a 43 hours ago got created right so i can delete it All right so i say k okay, delete pod busy then right? however my actual pod name is multi so pod busy will be deleted now if you have to delete it let's say quickly you can uh, mention the grace period to zero and then use the force flag so it'll immediately delete. you don't have to wait if you need a faster execution, go ahead with that. Now, just to check, I do not have any other pod available in my namespace, default namespace. I do not have any. That's fine. So I, what I can do, I can now say kubectl create minus f and the file name. If the file and everything content, etc., fine, this will kickstart creating a pod with two containers. So I'll say k get pod. And it will give you, give you the pod and you can see 
ready two of two because it has two container that is why it is saying two of two if let's say i do not have any action in the busy box it will immediately go into completed mode and as soon as it goes into the completed mode uh, it will say two of one because nginx will always be keep up and running so now what i wanted to do also i can say k describe pod that multi and if you do that pod multi you can see that there are a couple of things happened in the event it pulled the image busy box it created a container multi started a container multi pulling nginx created that and so on and so forth so things have happened here and if you go a little up and then you see that under containers you have got a container image busy box which is currently a running status and then there is a container web which images is nginx right so there are two containers running now what i wanted to do is that i wanted to check if they are really working fine or not one of the ways is to get inside the container so how do i get inside the container is by creating using k exec and then the pod name that is multi and if you do that and i say interactive terminal it and you try to execute the shell command it will complain let's see what exactly is the problem now it goes into the default container that is a multi container if you have to specify which container you want to go you can say dash c and the container name but however it landed to the first container which is the default container if i say ls it shows all the things so if i say exit and it'll come out of that container if i say this interactive terminal dash c web it'll idly go inside that nginx container and you see that the files folder structure is a bit different right so it is not the same container so you can even create a file say resume dash nginx and you come out and let's exit and then you go back to the previous command you don't find the file here you say out and you go back to the nginx container that is web and you say ls you find the file created already previously so that's the file i created right it's there so you can go inside a container within a pod by using k exec and if you have more than one container you can specify the container name by saying c and how do you know what is the name of the container it just by saying k describe and then pod multi and it will tell you what are the names of the container it is running under the container section it will have a multi and it will have a web so you have two containers you can go inside each of these containers hope this was helpful and this is a quite handy way to troubleshoot some of the behaviors within a pod uh, which you might need to check in a real production.